Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Um, happy Tuesday. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably already noticed that I chopped off all my hair today. Yay! It was just time and um, I just wanted something new. I was only slightly scared for like two seconds and then I sucked it up and she chopped it off and that was that. And if I want long hair, I'll just get really good extensions. So um, anyway, but today's video, other than the fact that I cut my hair, um, I wanted to give you guys a first look, kind of a first impression of a new, founda new foundation that just came out and also if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I took some pictures of it and I've been wearing it for like 24, 48 hours. So I have kind of a little insight, but still overall it's a first impression. Um, it's the Makeup Forever HD or the Ultra HD. And this is the newest foundation that just was released by Makeup Forever. It's basically going to be replacing slash um, or improved upon from the original formula, which was the HD, uh, but this one is supposed to be like 4K compatible, which is probably the highest level of HD you can have right now. So if you go to Best Buy or Target and you're looking at those big TVs and they look like you can jump inside of it, that's probably a 4K compatible television. And this foundation is meant to, and I don't know where any of us are going to be where we are under 4K <laughs> equipment, but uh, I, I believe that if you're like a stage actress or a television actress, um, this is probably something a makeup artist on set would have in her kit, I imagine. Um, for us women, we just like the flawlessness of it. It's a completely airbrushed, barely there finish. However, it's got a pretty good coverage. Um, the coverage on this, well first let me start with the color that I got. So Makeup Forever has, I think it's... 45 shades, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 45 shades, um, 45 shades in the collection right now. And what they're going to be doing is moving from the the color that you were in Makeup Forever HD, you're pretty much going to possibly be the same color in this version. Now at the bottom, you'll see it'll say your color that you were before, so you'll be able to find it. There's only like, I think there's three or four shades that are gone forever. But if you are lucky enough to still have your color, you'll find your number and then there's an equal sign and then a corresponding new system of identification and it's basically Y or R is the first letter, yellow or red, and then a series of numbers. So in relation, I was simply 173 and the bottom will indicate both as a starter. Now, I don't know if this will always be this way, but I think it's a really fantastic segue for the consumer to kind of easily jump from one product to the next. And far too often, I, I know for me and my complexion, that that's enough to make me stay with the foundation for a really long time because I know it'll work for me. Now, Makeup Forever jumped into this product knowing that they're discontinuing their old product and they allowed it to be a very seamless transition, which I love. Next is the consistency of this foundation. Now this, I have I have the old version of the Makeup Forever HD and I have this one. This one is a much thinner consistency. Um, I would say the coverage, and I'm wearing it right now actually, the coverage of this is very, I would say sheer to even medium. However, it leaves an almost undetectable finish on your skin. Like I'm wearing it and whereas the Makeup Forever HD, I used to actually take that to, with me on set. If I ever booked a job and I, I always kind of wondered if a makeup artist would have my exact color match, I would bring that foundation just in case because I knew it was HD ready. However, it was a thicker consistency that I would not wear normally on a regular day. I kind of, I still have almost half a bottle because I only really ever used it for date nights I would wear it because I wanted my makeup to last or when I was working on set. This version is a much lighter consistency and now some people might not like that. A lot of people, even if you go to like the Sephora reviews, have said this is a really sheer formulation and that's good for people that just kind of want to take away redness, take away discoloration, um, hide hyperpigmentation, um, but if you have a textural issue with your skin, I don't know that this would work for you, i.e. acne scarring, um, acne pit scarring, um, 
large pores, this could be problematic if you don't prime correctly because it's really not going to, in that first application, provide complete full coverage. You just won't get that. And you can actually go on, keep uh, searching on YouTube and you'll see people demo this. If you want me to demo it, let me know. But for people that have some scarring issues, they'll even say, oh, you know, it's a light, it's a good consistency. I'm going to have to go over this area one more time, which is fine. Um, but the consistency is not super buildable either. So you, the more you put on does not mean the more coverage with this. I really think it's going to end up just being a sheer to medium coverage for you. Now, identification wise, when you're at Sephora or when you're on any website placing the order, be sure that you know which bottle you're getting. So as far as identifying the bottle, the only difference in this one now is that there's a silver band around the edge or the middle. The old one doesn't have it. So if you are at Sephora, my Sephora had it, but I had to walk up and ask. Um, they hadn't provided a place for it. I don't know if they're kind of eliminating stock of the old formulation, but I they did have it. I just had to go up and say, do you guys have the new Ultra HD? And they went and found it for me. Um, so just be careful when you're online that it's got the silver band and it's also indicated right here where it says Ultra. So I, like I said, I'm wearing it today. For application, I have not done it yet with a beauty blender for the fact that I've watched some YouTube videos and you're going to get an incredibly sheer, incredibly sheer coverage upon a beauty blender application because the sponge is moist and you're dabbing on. It is beautiful though. The finish of this foundation is bar none beautiful. I mean, it's not a matte finish. I would say it's not even super satiny. Um, the more you let it sit on your skin, it just melts into your skin and literally becomes a second skin. I don't feel like if anything's on my skin. I don't see it creasing in any particular area. And I do feel like the color match is still completely spot on. If you have changed your skin tone um, over the summer, you might be a little different as far as the numbering goes. But you go on into a store and they'll be able to help um, color match you and I mean, I just took a mirror outside and I was like, yeah, I'm still 173. So um, I'm super happy with this foundation. Um, pricing for the Makeup Forever Ultra HD is, I believe it's $43 on the Sephora website. And um, you get, how many ounces? One fluid ounce of product. So it's a pretty good amount. Um, I've been doing one pump and I've been able to cover my entire face. And the brush that I'm using for right now is the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush in number 56. So I'm using this. It's a thinner, it's not the fluffiest brush, but it's really nicely dense with synthetic bristles. And I've just been doing one pump on my hand. I would take some Fix Plus, if you can, if you have Fix Plus, uh, some kind of spray. I spray it on the brush and then I dab it on my hand and then I apply. Like I said, if you need more coverage in a particular area, you go ahead and do maybe one more pump, maybe half a pump, and you should be fine. But overall, I really like this foundation and I just feel like the newer the technology gets on these televisions, the more these makeup companies have to keep up with the demand of it. And I know that in like the professional capacity, foundations like this and your, you know, your cover FX kind of um, products, I know those are predominantly meant for photography or television work or, you know, TV work or studio work, but we get to reap the benefits of it because it's just as good and we all want to strive to kind of look like we're wearing makeup, look like we're not wearing makeup when we are wearing makeup and a product like this in with a 4k capability which is ultra hd means that we can go out in public and be wearing this and it's almost undetectable on our skin however we're getting the coverage that we need so that's it guys i hope this little first impression video was helpful for you like i said i am wearing it today in number 173 or y445 now yeah 445 so i hope this helped you guys out i'm super impressed with this product so far um I just love the wear of it. I've worn it, like I said, for a few days, all day, and I've had also no adverse reactions. I have really sensitive skin and I've had no breakouts whatsoever, no rash at all, so, so far so good. Um, leave your comments down below if you have any questions. Also, find me on Twitter, I'm the Vonda 83 Check me out on Instagram, I'm also the Vonda 83 and then check out my blog for updates, themodishmommy.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.